Yeah. All right, for sure. Let's do it. No, we here with Lil Mac Diddy, Colorado Springs. Feel me? What's going on, Brody? What's the deal, man? Southside shit. Man. Nice. We on Jet Wing right now. For sure. For what sure. we rap about all the time. We here right now, in front of that stove. No cap. For sure, for sure, bro. So, first time on the platform. Feel me? Want to get? I want the the viewers to get to know you a little bit better. So, feel me? You um. You originally uh, from Colorado? Yeah, Colorado Springs, the South Side. I was born at Memorial. Memorial, raised over here. I, I lived in LA for a little bit too, though. But yeah, I, uh, I'm raised, born and raised out here. Yeah, South Side, Colorado Springs. But I be everywhere though. Yeah. Um. So, what got got you into start doing music? Uh, my nigga, uh, I was like doing little songs and shit already. Here, Rock. Rock. I was doing little songs and shit already, but like my nigga, uh, when I had got out of jail, like the first time, my nigga, uh, like was like, bro, like you look like a rapper, so you should rap. I just tried this shit, like you know, I was already like rapping a little bit, so like you feel me? When I was like 16 and shit. But then, like, taking it serious, though, like, two years ago, so, yeah, like, my nigga Chop, my producer, he just was like, bro, like, I'm ready to record you 24-7, like, seven days a week. Like, I'm ready to put it all behind you, you hard. So, At that point, you just started rapping? Yeah, yeah. every day, pushing this shit, trying to do something with it. No, for sure. Um, yeah, so, going back to, like, uh, where are you from? How how is life growing up here in Colorado Springs? How is life for you? Shit, it's not like it's not like the killer's place or the gangster's place. Like you know what I'm saying? It's cool. It's rough though. Like you know what I'm saying? Everywhere it was rough. But like where we at though, the South Side, like it it goes down. Like you be popping over here, you feel me? But I was just a normal young nigga, like going to school, playing basketball and shit. And then after that, you know that. Nigga got older, that's when the nigga got into like the streets and shit. So like 13, 14, though, I was already off the porch out here. Young nigga. Yeah. 12 years old. 11 years old. Me and my niggas was running out through these streets, getting in since young. He licks all that shit. Nah, for real. It's street niggas everywhere you go, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, so you hopped off the porch and you uh, mentioned uh, basketball, so you, you, you was into sports and shit growing up? I wasn't really like just into basketball, like all my niggas play basketball, so I thought it was cool to play basketball too. Like, I was just the nigga just in the crowd, like in the mix, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was always just out here thugging shit. But like I was a street nigga, I was smoking weed, all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? My yeah. niggas was hooping and shit, like I was drinking lean, all type of shit. But, like, I was trying though, just trying to fit in with my niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel that. They street uh, niggas too, but some of them play basketball and shit. So yeah, when we was young, yeah, hooping and shit. I mean you got street niggas that do everything, you feel everything. me? You feel me? Um and I got a, a question. Where'd you get your name, uh Lil Mac Diddy from? My uncle, his name Mac Nace. It's like a thing in our family, like you know what I'm saying. Like Mac, my uncle's is Max. Yeah. It's like, it's like some pimp shit. You feel yeah. Me? Like my uncle's was Max, but they say like they not pimps or players, like they Max. You feel me? Like, but like my cousin, my cousin CJ Mac, my uncle Nish, uh his name was Mac Nish, but he got killed out here at an E40 concert out here and shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like a few years back and shit, so. All right, like, I just started going by Lil Mac. But the Diddy shit came, like, just like being a little fly nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was thinking I'm a fly nigga and shit, so I just put the little Diddy part on it. All right. So, um, your music, you feel me? Um, what, what style of uh, rap would you say you do? Like, who would be... Like an influence on your music. What would you say? Who would you say influence your music a lot? Shit, Gucci man. Gucci. Yeah. This shit, like, this shit, dope dealer music. <laughs> Real shit. Like this shit ain't for the, for the weak. You feel me? Yeah. It's for the sharks. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I make music for. For the real niggas. For my niggas to vibe to. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Everybody the vibe too, so you can feel yourself. I'm a young fly nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what I make music for, for the streets. I feel that. I feel that. Not for the cappers. See? I feel that. Nah, I see you've been steady, like working on, like consist consistently putting out. Uh, songs and, 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 and videos on, on, on YouTube and shit. So is it like a build up to a project or something? Yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm just giving them teasers right now. I'm, I be like giving away teasers so motherfuckers could tap in, you feel me? Yeah. Motherfuckers could tune into what I got going, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just dropping shit back to back to keep motherfuckers in tune with the project. But yeah, I got a project coming called Rich Low. That's my my little my little album type shit, you feel me? Yeah. But I got EPs and shit. Like I said, I got a, a tape with my nigga DJ Mel's about to drop uh, soon too, Intoxicating. I got some other shit too. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna drop like a series of tapes called Juiced Up. You know what oh, I'm okay. saying? Like, just like Juiced Up 1, 2, 3, you know what I'm saying? Like a series of them bitches. Young nigga too juiced up right now. So, nah, so is it gonna be like Drank music, is it gonna be turnt music? What's yeah, it gonna be drank like? Drank music, man. For the sippers, man. No, it's just <laughs> hard shit. All hard shit, back to back, letting a nigga know juiced up. It's, it don't just necessarily mean drinking drink. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just juiced up in general. Like, nigga, you feel like you that nigga, nigga, is juiced up, nigga. Yeah. Juiced up, like, you know what I'm saying? All right. I'm just charged up right now. You feel me? You know how they say, like, they charging the battery, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Juiced up right now. Juiced up on these niggas, man. So, uh, one thing I wanted to give you props for, bro, you, 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 you definitely indie, bro, you feel me? But you move like a signed artist, you feel me? N nigga always in the, in the fly shit, always moving about, you feel me, doing this shit, bro. Like, like, you take this seriously. This is a job, this is not a hobby, bro. You feel me? Yeah. Definitely wanted this to touch This is what I want to do. Yeah. 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 This is like what I want to do with this shit. Like, I want to put my people on like, you see right here, bro, it's like eight niggas, bro. You feel me? Like, I'm trying to put all these niggas in position in myself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be big with it. I ain't trying to be a nigga just saying I'm rapping, you know what I'm saying? And that's real, bro, you feel me? That's real because I be getting frustrated, bro, when people be okay with, like, where they at, you feel me? And be Fuck like, oh, no. I'm a rapper. Nah, bro, you Fuck not. No. Like, to some people out here, like, they think I'm on some superstar shit, you feel me? But, like, to me, nigga, I ain't nowhere, nigga. I'm just grinding, you know what I'm saying? Right now, it's a grind for me, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm Airbnbs in different states and... You know what I'm saying? I'm still getting money in and out of state too. You feel me? Sir? But that's what it takes, bro. That's what it takes, you know? Like, you gotta move around. Like, it's not gonna happen. You gotta, you know, bridge those gaps, bro. Like, you can't sit in Colorado and think you're gonna, you're gonna you know, reach out to people in Atlanta. You gotta move around and, and do that. So, I gotta give you your props for what to do, bro. Like, you be doing your shit. God, like, I really be bullshitting, bro. Like, this my manager right here. This my boy Gillo Gang TC, this my brother, you know what I'm saying? Ten years strong, this my doggy, you know what I'm saying? This my little bro, but he he be put he be the one like, nigga, let's go to LA, let's go here, let's go. You know what I'm saying? That's real. That's real. I be stuck on Jet Wing, you feel me? My boy like let's let's move. Nah bro, you got you got bigger potential, bro. You you feel me? You need to spread your wings. Cause I seen you just drop. You was in LA and you did uh, Melrose, right? That's where you shot it. Yeah. yeah. I, shot, I shot big on. I shot a couple videos in LA. Oh, where? Big on big. My song, big on big. That was in LA too. I shot that shit on Rodeo Drive in Hollywood Hills and shit. Bro. I be in LA all the time. Nah, for sure, bro. Like, and and, 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 and and that's that's what that's what made me look twice because I'm like, what? Damn. Did he in LA? He shooting in LA, you feel me? Like, Cause I'm used to you being like here, you feel me? So when I seen a different aesthetic, I'm like, damn, bro, moving now, all right, bet. Yeah, I got a video in Arizona. I ain't dropped yet either. A video I just shot in AZ with my niggas too. But I had I shot two videos. I shot one with my nigga Trapping Tres. He dropped that video. Yeah. But I ain't dropped my video yet that I shot in AZ. Alright. Since making music, what's one of what's one of your favorite songs you've made so far? Shit, bro. Honestly, like 
I'm still perfecting my craft, so like, and when I be making shit, bro, I be like, this the hardest one. And then make another one right after that, like, nah, this harder. Like, so I be thinking like, my shit be harder like, every time. Every time I drop, it gets harder and harder. Now you a perfectionist, bro. And I got some un unreleased shit that that that's like crazy, like crazy, crazy. Oh. With features, all types. Ah, uh, features. That yeah. You, you, all right, see, perfect segue. So, uh, any notable features that you gonna drop on Rich Low? Yeah, my boy Hundred Pack Savvy. Oh. I'm putting Hundred Pack Savvy on there for sure. Uh, my nigga. Los from uh, Detroit. Yeah. He popping in Detroit right now, my nigga Los. So I'm doing a feature with him. I got a feature with him too. So I'm gonna put that motherfucker on there too. And who knows? By the time the tape drop, we'll, we'll, we'll be on there. You feel me? For sure. We might got some more shit in store. So. Yeah. Uh. So like, I right, then who is one of the, the uh, like a feature that you like a dream feature? For you. Future. Future? Uh my boy. Future. If I can get on a song with any nigga in the world right now, future. If he win this year. Future, future if you, to go. Bro. Yeah, future if you watching this, my boy need a feature. It's me, right? It's like future, baby face right then me. Like, 